हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टेन ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन स्टारिक टाइम एंड एनालिसिस दिस इज अगेन वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो आई हैव इंक्लूडेड ऑनली सिंगल क्वेश्चन इन दिस एपिसोड सो नो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड friends the question is on your screen you have to derive a whole time equation for the given logic it is a very simple logic it is a flip flop to flip flop path but the exception is the capturing flop is receiving inverted version of clock friends you can pause my video here take your time to think of its answer otherwise i will let you know its answer friends answer of this question is very interesting and it is very important to understand those who came to know its answer please write it down in the comment section and we can discuss there otherwise let me reveal its answer this is zoom out version of our logic this is clock signal which is applied to first flip flop which throws data and this is inverted version of clock which is applied to second flip flop which receives all the data on the positive edge of the clock flip flop 1 throws data and on the negative edge of the clock flip flop 2 receives data but flip flop 2 requires hold time what is hold time hold time is a minimum time after the active edge of the clock for that time window the data must be stable and this is the hold time window for the second flip flop which is coming after the negative edge of the clock now what will happen on this negative edge on this negative edge second flip flop will start transmitting its input value to its output but on the same negative edge flip flop 1 is not doing anything it is not transmitting its input value to its output so for this time period by 2 value flip flop 1 is not going to transmit any value at its output so the value at the input of second flip flop is assured to be safe it will not vary friends now there are two possible cases the first case is when half of the time period is quite more than the whole time of the second flip flop which is the most usual case there is no possibility of whole time violation but in the second case if whole time of second flip flop is high enough that it is it is exceeding half of the time period of the clock then we must seek attention in the second case if thd exceeds half of the time period of the clock it will enter in this region so as soon as the positive edge of the clock starts the flip flop 1 will start transmitting its input value to its output and it will take tcq amount of time to do so then after tcl amount of time it will reach at the input of second flip flop then only the input of second flip flop will vary now let us see what will be the final whole time equation this is the final whole time equation this is thd of second flip flop time period by 2 plus tcq plus tcl must be greater than or equal to whole time of second flip flop then there will be no whole time violations and in the worst case if we apply the minimum time period of operation for which this circuit will not have any setup violation then t minimum by 2 plus tcq plus tcl must be greater than or equal to whole time of second flip flop let me elaborate little bit about this whole time equation this is a time period by 2 this amount of time in this we know that the input will be always stable because flip flop 1 is not transmitting anything now at this positive edge flip flop 1 will start transmitting its input to its output but it can only reach at the input of second flip flop after tcq plus tcl amount of time so in case our time period by 2 for which input is stable plus tcq plus tcl for that time also input is stable after the positive edge of the clock if this particular time is more than whole time requirement of second flip flop then we are secure there will be no whole time violations friends with this i am going to end this episode and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you 
and in future we are going to publish many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching